Good morning, folks. We've got a look at the sun and then five key science updates to cover, capping off with Princeton Plasma Physics bombshell after more than a year without one. But first, we begin at spaceweathernews.com and we find the last day on the sun was very quiet. As we roll the last 24 hours of quiet here and then in ionized helium, I want to comment that I've been seeing unfortunate videos out there claiming that solar data is missing. There are major eruptions and major impacts happening to Earth. There are not. Not only do we have uninterrupted views of the sun from various satellites, but all the coronagraphs too, when you combine stereo and SOHO. All geomagnetic and geoelectric monitors confirm the quiet conditions, and veteran observers get ready to say, not again. Yes, the broken ISWA model is being used by con artists once again to scare people. Folks, those models are not real. If you are watching models of the Earth's field on ISWA, you are watching nonsense, and a link to the full explanation video is first up in your list of links today. Let's go to the new science where a double on earthquakes and tsunamis are coming to the same finish line from two different pathways. Seismic risk is underestimated in a big way, especially the tsunami hazard, to certain bayside cities like San Francisco with how they naturally enhance the land-falling tsunami lift bit of eye candy up next from the VLA, a gorgeous stellar nursery. And when you take the infrared away, leaving just the radio, it's even better. Some of the features seen are absolutely outstanding in the formation and the detail. One in particular, item marked A, appears to not only be a double lobed eruption from the protostellar object, but is that a binary right next to it as well? Interaction driven baby star micronova, nice. Now we're off to discuss the trigger for the Sun's micronova. We've gone over the two different known nova triggers coming with the galactic current sheet, the interaction with the gas and dust and plasma, and the interaction with the galactic magnetic fields. Well, let's get a double on that realm today. Up first, it's a study on the vertical mixing of the midplane electric field. For those who like spirals, there's about a thousand in this paper, but the key is in the time evolved form of the midplane field. The number of spiral arm loops in the total galaxy is seen in the electric field ripples in only the first thousand light years from the core, moving out to cover a span almost as wide as Earth's distance from the galactic core, and we see more ripples in concentric layers than exist in the galaxy's spiral arms all the way out to the edges. And this is because the spiral arms of the galaxy and the current sheet ripples are not the same. The turbulence and Parker instability in the current sheet is the latest from the Princeton-led team, and in their working of various scenarios, including the magnetospheric plasma bubbles, they went from vast 3D fields to thin ones, the current sheets, and how they self-interact and form boundaries between the magnetic fields of the system. They specifically noticed where the opposing magnetism were laid pretty much parallel inside the green boxes, you can really see the before and after of that placement into thin sheet with north-south magnetic flows and the ripples beginning in the sheet on the right. This is indeed how the sun's current sheet is set up and the galaxies as well with the fields running through the mid-plane separating the sectors and denoting the magnetic reversal point of the galaxy. Their close-in detail work on the sheet shows the ripples which can even lobe into full Parker instability if you really let them go. But at the end of the day, this is how it always works in the lab, in our solar system current sheet, and in the galaxy as well. The sheet is here, by the way, engulfing our solar system, causing the changes we're seeing on other planets and the sun and the crescendo of that 12,000 year cycle is coming. We greatly appreciate your support. Watch the playlist to learn more. Watch that ISWA video in today's link list if you unluckily found one of those con artists saying the Earth is getting pounded right now. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.